Whitney. In this video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of brand new vegan products that I discovered at the Summy, Summy, Summer <laughs> Fancy Food Show in New York City. This is my first time going to this show. Well, technically, I have been to the Winter Fancy Food Show, which I went to this past January in San Francisco, and that was really nice. But the Summer Fancy Food Show blew me away. I can't wait to come back to this. This is one of the best shows that I've been to. I go to a lot of trade shows. Okay, maybe not a lot, but I every year I go to two trade shows. I go to the Natural Products Expo East and Natural Products Expo West. So you may have seen my videos if you haven't yet. Those are a good opportunity to learn about new products and see a bunch of things at once, which I'm about to show you. And I'm, I'm just thrilled. And if you're curious where I am, I'm at my sister's apartment and I, I don't know if it's not quite an apartment it's like just a really cool uh, what do they call it a um, like a where you're where you would have your parents live with you type what is that called like a mother-in-law or something not not a mother-in-law you probably know what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm messing up all my words today. But I This is an amazing place. It's in New York and not in the city, but outside the city. And, and I've just been so happy to be on the East Coast. So I have a bunch of products. Some of them are brand new. Some of them are just new to me. Some of them I've had before, but I just want to make sure you know about it. I will link to every product in the description so you can check it out. I will use some affiliate links, meaning if you buy things that I recommend, I may receive a small commission from it. That's a really great way to support my work with Eco Vegan Gal. And I also have some photos of products that I wasn't able to take home. I still want to show you. There are a ton. I haven't even counted them. And I also have a few products that I tried while out here on the west, uh, the East Coast. I also want to apologize. It actually looks like it got better. My, my video camera is, my webcam is acting a little funky. So I hope, hopefully that won't get in the way at all. Okay. So specialty fancy food show happens twice a year as i mentioned winter in san francisco summer in new york city it's an industry only event meaning that you have to work in the food industry and because i make videos and social media and run a whole brand around product recommendations i got to go as press and it's basically like a big taste test you walk around i'll show you some pictures from inside in a little bit and it's just like this really fun experience and it's very similar to natural products expo so if you've been thinking about going to either if you work in the industry as i do i really recommend going to the summer fancy food show i i was throw just mind blown okay i'm gonna start with the product that blew me the way the most that way if you don't feel like watching the whole long video you can just get the really really good stuff this was the one of off the top of my head if not the most exciting product that i discovered this is from a French company. It's a fully vegan French company that makes non-dairy products. And I could not believe it. So I started off by trying their cheese. I think I have a little video to show you later. If not, it'll be on my Instagram story, which is at Eco Vegan Gal. And I tr started trying the, these cheeses, which kind of reminded me of um, Violife or chow cheese, if you've tried either of those. I think this is like a trend in European cheeses. They they have, it's like a little lock cheese. And if you haven't tried Violife or chow, I highly recommend them. But it's it's kind of similar to Daya cheese, but I think better in taste and texture so far. Daya has been changing a lot recently, which is very exciting. So, you know, if you don't like Daya now, you may like Daya later. The product that absolutely blew me away is this one this is a vegan cream cheese that is the best vegan cream cheese i can recall having at least in terms of like a packaged vegan cream cheese i probably had some really nice homemade or gourmet at, at restaurants and things like this but in terms of something that you could just get off the shelf this is phenomenal so highly highly recommend keeping an eye out for this i think they already have distribution in canada and they're working on getting it in the u.s and i i assume they have it in france so if you're out there look up nature et moi and again i will link to them 
The next product that I was really excited about that I have at hand, again, I'm going to have a little slideshow for you at the end of this, <laughs> which also has a lot of great products, but this was really tasty, this line of vegan mayo, and I feel like the woman that was at this booth is also French, but they weren't related as far as I know, and just a really, really lovely line of plant-based mayos, actually vegan et moi has a mayo as well, but I did not get to try that. And what's cool about both of these companies actually is that they're using some good ingredients. I think entirely gluten-free, vegan. Oh yeah, it says right here. So Nature et moi is free of soy, gluten, and palm oil, which I thought was awesome. And then the Good Spoon, let's see. No artificial colors and flavors, preservatives, GMOs, cholesterol, or gluten. It's egg-free. I don't know if there's soy in here. I don't see any. And they use microalgae, too, which I thought was really neat. So this is really lovely. Very nice people. I have a lot to show you. Speaking of nice people, this company I'll have in my slideshow because <laughs> I ate the whole bag. It was that good. I could not wait to record this video to share this with you. This is Bjorn Corn. And it is sun-popped savory corn with nutritional yeast on it. It is vegan and gluten-free, handmade in small batches. And I, they pop it by the sun. So they have like solar dishes that they use to pop their corn. They were so nice. Really enjoyed talking to them. A snack that is by a company I have loved for like seven years now is Way Better Snacks. They have been adding more products to their line and one of the products is so new that they had to give it to me in a clear bag. I have a picture of what the actual packaging looks like, but these were my favorites of their new products. They had so many new products. And, and when you go to these trade shows, you get really full, so it's hard to try everything. So I didn't really try much, but this Rosemary Ancient Grain Crackers was very, very good. And I'm just double checking because some of their products are not vegan. I'm like, I hope, oh yeah, it says right there on the back. So check way better snacks. And then this, I don't remember what it's called, but I will pull up a photo in a little bit, but that was lovely. I tried some, I don't know if it would be considered homemade, but um, this company called Bell and Bella makes a vegan yogurt starter kit. And I tried some of their yogurt. That was really lovely. So if you want to make your own yogurt, you can add in, I think, soy, almond, or coconut. I don't, I don't know if that means that that's what's in here, or you can use any of those milks to create it. Oh, yeah, it says right here. Can be used with coconut, almond, and soy milk. I bet, like, most non-dairy milks would work, but you'd have to do a little bit of research. And I've always been curious about it, so I was very impressed with how this worked. I tried to make my own vegan yogurt at home once, and it actually worked really well. I think I just used probiotics or something. A company that I tried at the previous fancy food show in San Francisco that I was so in, into, they finally gave me a little little tiny sample of it, is Sabatino Tartuffi. It's, it's Italian-made truffle products, and they had this incredible truffle soy sauce. This does not look like this. It's just a little sample. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I may have a photo of that. And then they have like a truffle sprinkle and a whole line of all these truffle products. So if you're into truffles, highly recommend them. Another product that I was really surprised by my excitement over is by the Ginger People. They have two new products that I loved. This Rescue Ginger Shot, I think there are three different flavors, but this coconut, sorry that's not focusing super well, but this coconut one is so lovely. I think it's made with coconut cream, yeah. And there's a little cane sugar in it, but this is really nice for energy, for your digestion, your immune system. And then they also have a delicious turmeric latte that I was shocked by how good this is. It's one of the best pre-made turmeric latte powders that I've had. It does have some palm sugar in it, but other than that, it's just ginger and turmeric. I don't know how they get it to taste so good. This is so fantastic. What else do we have here? I'm going to show you some more photos, but just a shout out before I get to them. There's some new products from Rise, and they didn't even have them in a can yet. They just had them on tap, and I can't wait to tell you more about that in the photo. I love Rise 
and their their line of coffee. And then Sap is another brand that I love. If you haven't tried this yet, I think you can just get this in the Northeast. So whenever I come to the East Coast, I'll, I'll usually get some Sap because I love their drinks, especially this maple soda. But they have a new line of four new flavors. I think they're birch water and they're kind of like sparkling flavored waters, almost like LaCroix. I love sparkling flavored waters. And speaking of which, another brand that was also very surprising. It's called Tickle Water. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I tried just their natural, plain, sparkling water. And my sister and I were super impressed with it. I also just love their containers. They're very cute. They're, they're more aimed towards kids. Then I tried some products from No Way. And I've had them before, so this isn't anything super new, but No Way makes some really nice vegan chocolates. One of my favorite things by them is they have a really delicious and super cute vegan chocolate Easter bunny. So if you want to get kids or yourself some really adorable Easter chocolates, check out No Way. Speaking of chocolates, I had another product for them, but I think my sister ate it, <laughs> which means that it was really good. And I may have a photo of this too. So Siren makes these delicious protein bites. I've had these in the past. I think also at the Fancy Food Show, they have a new, I think it's a cupcake flavor and they have a birthday cake. They have this line of really tasty little bites. So they come in these little packages and this is just one serving and they're just really tasty. My favorite flavor is the cookie dough. Uh, I, I will show you a photo of this too, but I have a little cool little piece of paper version of this product. This is Jin Jan, and this is a delicious ginger drink, all organic, made by some really cool guys. I, were they based in... Yep, they're based in New York, but th this is like an a, a traditional African drink, and it was super delicious. It was organic ginger, pineapple, lemon, vanilla, and anise, and loved that. If you're into all of the the ginger products out there, Noosh makes wonderful nut butter products, and now they have a new plant-based protein. I th I think. Oh yeah, it's made from almonds. And is that all that's in here? Is this just a single ingredient? Whoa, that's really cool. I happen to be sensitive to almonds, so I will not be enjoying this, but I'll be passing this on to somebody else. I love their packaging. I'm not a big fan of like a ton of packaging. Trade shows like this are my exception. I, I try not to have too many packaged foods, but when I go to shows like this, it's just fun to try things and see the developments and also be able to recommend things to you if you're looking for something new or a specific type of product. But otherwise, I really try to be as minimal as possible. Some products that I have already tried before but are worth mentioning because I love seeing them are Vegan Rob's. These are one of the best vegan snacks I've ever had. I buy these all the time. This is an indulgent. Well, I buy these when I want to indulge, I should say. I haven't, I haven't purchased them in a little while. But they make these delicious puffed vegan snacks. They have all sorts of different flavors like Brussels sprouts and cheddar, all vegan. And they have a cauliflower one and they have these new dragon puffs that are delicious. Love them. This is a relatively new company, so you may not have heard me talk about them, but from the ground up, I love their cauliflower crackers and their cauliflower pretzels. And I know, for, I feel like there was some, are these not gluten free? No, they are. They have a few different products, so I'm, I always like to double check that everything is good to go because sometimes they get products that aren't gluten-free or vegan or something like that for my sister. Next up is a brand I've mentioned before, and I just want to give them a shout out again, KLG. These are so special. I carry these around with me in my bag. These are gold cardamom seeds that you can use as a breath freshener, and so they're actually dusted in gold. So I take these not just to freshen my breath, but also to make me feel very abundant. Owl's Brew, they've been around for a little bit. I saw that they've had this beer, I want to say for maybe a year or two. It's so, so tasty. It's a tea-infused beer, and it's actually very low in gluten, they said. So if you're sensitive to gluten like I am, you might be fine drinking this. I don't seem to have much of a problem. It's so delicious. It's also like a little indulgence. 
Also, Matcha Bar is a brand that I've loved for a while, and they have these new sparkling beverages. They have an unsweetened and a sweetened sparkling matcha. It's really lovely. Now, before I get into my little slideshow of some more products to show you, I just want to give a shout out to two products that I discovered out in the state of New York. And one of them is called Riverdell. They make a line of cheeses. I tried their truffle cheese. It was pretty good. It wasn't the best cheese that I've had, but it was very lovely. And the truffle flavor just wasn't super strong, but I really appreciated it. I thought it was definitely worth trying. I had it on some lovely beet crackers from this company called Healing Home Foods. And they have an online store, plus I think a few retail locations. And they make all sorts of lovely, like paleo, vegan, organic, gluten-free, some raw foods. It's, it's such a sweet little shop. And I, I got this little peanut butter bark. That was pretty good. Didn't blow me away. Nothing I had there was like outstanding, but I really appreciated their ingredients. And if you're into products like that, I highly recommend looking them up and, and maybe ordering some or going to the store if it's near you. And the other cool thing about this is it features one of my favorite chocolate companies, which is Hue Kitchen. I don't know why it's not, it's not uh, focusing very easily, but Hue Kitchen, oh, there we go. Hue Kitchen makes lovely vegan paleo products. All right, time for the slideshow so I can show you some more things and then I got to get going. What time is it? Oh, Okay, I'm running low on time, so this might be a little fast. And hello to Green Dragon, who's watching live. Okay, so let me pull up. I'm just going to show you through my um, through my little browser here, a little peek at, ooh, I think, can, can I zoom in? Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is so neat. This is a new feature. This is exciting. Okay, so the first product in the slideshow is, and can you see me too? I'm not sure. Hold on. I can't see my face anymore. Okay, I had to turn it on. Let me move, move this over here. So this is a small little company called Atina Foods. They make delicious products like this turmeric ginger pickle. They make some jam products. This pop zest from flavor, I think it's called Flavor Train. They make these uh, cheesy like toppings that you can put on things like popcorn. I love nutritional yeast, so I thought this was really tasty. 3 p.m. Bites makes these no guilt treats for athletes with really great ingredients, and they're meant to give you some energy or fill you up if you're working out a lot. Really love those. I took a ton of photos. C8 Day is a company I love. They now have a vegan cashew queso. That was so fantastic. And they have a line of hot sauces. They've expanded their tortilla line. Oh, I love C8 Day. So this was thrilling. They have really wonderful vegan paleo products. Some of them I don't think are, they might have like a couple non-vegan products, but most of them are vegan. Health Aid has a new flavor called jalapeno kiwi cucumber that was very nice uh, i tried this in the past at natural products expo i think petit pot which makes a rio ole coco which is an organic coconut rice pudding they have a line of rice puddings that are not vegan and this is their one vegan product Suja has a new plant protein milk Suja makes a line of juices they have kombucha now and they also have this plant protein milk from pea protein which is very nice and it was organic mother-in-law makes a a few vegan kimchi and they have this new line called everyday kimchi which is like a more subtle kimchi it was very nice the seaweed and the spicier the vegan flavors and i really enjoyed those i mentioned rise i love their coffee and they now have two vegan lattes made with oat milk they have or they make their own organic oat milk so delicious i'm so excited this they said they should be in stores maybe in august and i will definitely be buying this the the classic latte is not vegan but the other two are vegan and and they're so so good and nut and ordinary is a cashew cheese i've been wanting to try i loved it this is my favorite flavor this is the spicy cashew cheese really tasty a small company and i think they might just be on the east coast the good spoon i mentioned so here are a couple of their other flavors curry and smoky spicy 
And this is a little video of what the fancy food show looks like. So if you're trying to get a good visual, it's it's this like huge show. This was on my Instagram. And then I, th I think I have to switch back and find because I have like a bunch of pictures for my dinner and stuff. If you're not following my Instagram stories, that's a great way to see what I'm eating when I'm when I'm out and about hanging out with friends, trying new things, that sort of thing. Okay, uh, let's see. I've got so many products. I like take a lot of photos to joke around with people. Too. <laughs> so I've been sending all these crazy photos to my sister. So this is a few more products from Nature et Moi. So you can see their mayo. They have other cream cheese flavors. They have shreds. They have so many great things. I want to try it all. Different flavors and slices and cheese blocks. I I was yeah just blown away by that. And this is their garlic and herbs cream cheese. That one was outstanding. This is really cool. I love kitchery. And Dancing Elephant makes these pre-made kitchery cups in three different flavors. It's an Ayurvedic dish that's very, very satisfying and healing. And I can't wait to see these. Hopefully, they'll come out to where I live. I mentioned Jinjin earlier, so this is just a picture of what the bottle looks like. This was really neat. This is a coconut almond toffee from Anchor Toffee. I think they're based in Rhode Island. And these are dairy-free, gluten-free, really delicious gourmet little treat. This was neat. Kings and Queens makes a, a shaga drink, which is really good for, I think, your uh, your brain so just like making you uh it's like your brain function and all of that that was very very tasty Ooh, this was exciting okay these this is called the uncreamery they're based in san francisco i think and they make vegan brie they have a truffle brie outstanding and a classic brie it doesn't taste exactly like brie but it looks like it it's very similar in consistency and the taste is kind of close to it and they also have some block cheese, a smoked Gouda, and a ghost pepper jack that were so good. I wish I could have taken these home. They are excellent, and I hope that they grow as a company. Oh, this is also a little video of the fancy food show, and it just overlooks New York City. It was so cool to be there. It's in the Javits Center. And let's see what else do I have. I know I have some more photos. Where did they go? Here we go. Okay, this was a, a cool company if you like alcohol. Willie Super Brew makes a couple different flavors. So they have a pomegranate, lemon, acai cane sugar, and it's kind of like a cider or a rose wine. And then they have a ginger, lemon, turmeric, brown sugar, which is like a alcoholic ginger beer, and those are really lovely. Very sweet people. This was neat. Tea squares, tea infused energy snacks. I loved the citrus green tea matcha. This was also really interesting. Worthy blends. They make kind of like these smoothie meals with really interesting ingredients, kind of like a pudding and a smoothie combined. And uh, I'm really curious to try these again because uh, just a little taste. It was super unique. And hello to Rachel and to Ryan Shaw who are here watching. Thanks for being here. I love the truffle chips from this company, Torres. And now they have this smoked paprika that was excellent. I loved this for a little indulgent treat. And they also, I think this is their company too, they have these flowered almonds. So these almonds are dusted in actual flowers. I thought that was super unique. This was pretty cool. This is a, oh, where'd that go? A maple stream. So it's an organic maple syrup in this special bottle. And instead of pouring maple, you press a little button and it, and it squirts out. And it's actually neat because it's very shelf stable, unlike a lot of other maple syrup. So that was very tasty and I thought very innovative. Talked about these. This is not a, this is upside down, but this is a picture of some plant-based deli slices from Italy. And I thought this was super interesting because the company that imports them also imports actual meat. So they had them in this deli case. And I thought that was cool. I, I don't really like looking at meat, but I thought it was neat because um, it just shows how plant-based foods can literally be neck and neck with, with uh, meat. If you like fries like I do, I thought this was really cute. This is a... Um, I forget where they're from, but another country that makes these fry tests, which are crispy French fries in like a little to-go pack. And uh, they had all these different flavors. 
sap I talked about, these are their new flavors, the cranberry and goji berry, tangerine and chamomile, ginger and lemongrass, and strawberry and habanero. Very subtle, subtly flavored sparkling water, I think from birch. Here you go, yeah, birch tree water. I talked about Bjorn corn, so if you're curious what it looks like when the bag is full, that's it right there. Sarah Snacks makes some lovely brittles and they had really good ingredients, non-GMO, gluten-free, corn-free, uh, organic coconut oil. They had all these different flavors. Those were really nice. This was super sweet. This company makes wonderful mixes for cupcakes and frostings and cakes. They're all gluten-free and vegan. I really love the flavor of these. I would love to try these out. And I remember their ingredients being really good too. Um, then, oh, these are, this is the packaging for that Way Better Snacks product. So this is the sea salt fava bean chip that I held up earlier in the, in the clear plastic bag. And those were really nice. I can't wait for those to come out. This is the other product I showed you. And what else? Ooh, this is really cool. These are vegan hot dogs that are also soy and gluten free. And they have like little pop-ups all over. You can look them up and find them. Uh, and I don't know exactly where they sell them. A lot of companies come to the fancy food show to get distribution. So they may be in a store near you at some point. This was something random. This is a product I already showed you. And this might be the last photo I took, which is Coco Parlor, who makes a line of really lovely organic chocolates. They now have this new Almond Crunch Quinoa Bar, which was super tasty and I got to try some of their other products as well which are really nice so that will do it I have to get going because I'm going back to Massachusetts Ugh, I'm running late so I, I gotta put all this stuff in a bag and head out to head back to my family's home in Massachusetts I'll be back in LA tomorrow night and back on track with some weekly videos for you so stay tuned thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed learning about all these products I will be listing all of them down below in the description with links and as I mentioned some of the links will be affiliate links that's a great way to support my work because if you buy something that I recommend I may get a small commission at no additional cost to you and uh, some of these products I'm just going to link to them because they don't have affiliate programs so thanks again I will see you very soon with another video in which I'm reviewing some products talking about recommendations answering your questions whatever I can do to support you in your vegan journey learning more about how to be more eco-friendly uh, dealing with things like food sensitivities like I have to gluten and soy and all these other things and just showing you how easy and fun this can be that's my mission and uh, I will see you then so in the meantime I'm wishing you all the very best with your own eco vegan journey bye